Hey everybody, welcome to Good Witch Intuitive Tarot. Thank you guys for liking, sharing, and subscribing. I do appreciate it. This is going to be your um, your reading for... What is this reading for? The, oh, so sorry guys. I don't mean to be so loud over here. I'm trying to pull out some sage because I forgot to light some. Um, this is going to be your reading for the upcoming weekend. So that's going to be the 25th to the 27th. So it'll be Friday through Sunday, okay, of June 2021. Okay, and as always, and I know that, you know, I sound like a broken record, I'm sure. But as always, readings could resonate on other dates. They don't have to be for the time the reading came out. Um, they could be whenever you're guided to see it, whenever it shows up on your feed, whenever you see the title and resonate with it, whatever it is for each of you it'll be something different obviously but um whenever or whatever it is that is um that draws you to it is what draws you to it i'd like to put this inside of my sage holder up here i didn't feel like lighting the regular sage because it would take forever so i'm using a little cone here and we'll see how that does all right so spirit and angels anyone for the highest good for the upcoming weekend what do we need to know about this reading or whenever anyone is guided to see it as always it could resonate at any time anywhere whenever you're guided what do we need to know about this reading please for the collective for anyone who's guided to see it whenever they're guided to see it Please send through the most important messages for the people that need them the most and allow me to connect with as many people as possible. Okay, let's see what happens. What do we need to know? There is a card flipped in this deck and I'd like to find it, so give me one second. We're not going to take anything that falls till I find that one card that's flipped over. No, nope. oh, that, that, not, that page of pentacles. I am taking it. <laughs> Uh, that page of pentacles came out in the same exact spot for another reading. That's why I'm taking it. Knight of pentacles, star reverse. Spirit says, forget the one that's turned upside down. We There it is. We have stuff to say. <laughs> All right. What else do we need to know here, please? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Somebody was left out in the cold. Mm -mm -mm. This is like a recurring theme. All right. So something's going on here. Okay, what is this tower? Ooh, ooh. All right, when, when the tower hits, someone's finally able to dump the burdens and clarity comes out. Okay, something's happening here. So it's like, when I look at this, let me move this out of the way here. When I look at this reading, what I see on each side of the tower is relief. And, you know, I say this all the time to people. Sometimes a tower is necessary. And sometimes it's actually a good event. Like if someone proposes to you, that can be a tower, a shocking event that happens in your life. But that's a good tower, right? This is a tower that happens. And when this tower hits, somebody's able to dump the burdens. Now, is the tower hitting because of something that was... Um, we got gained clarity on or something that was exposed or does that tower create some happiness for someone i mean they're able to finally get the burdens off them so this tower hitting to me feels like something good that happens to someone it's like boom it hits and then sweet relief comes in and clarity the seven of cups chalices is right here on the top of your deck well it's the bottom of the deck but it's right there you know um so there's something i feel like um there's some kind of is this a four of swords no five of swords why do i always see this as the four of swords okay so some kind of um information or communication is going to come in um someone i feel someone was betrayed here i really do i very much feel like someone ten of swords felt really betrayed it could have been this queen of cups she sits right there next to the ten of swords with ten swords in her back and here's a king of wands in the reverse i feel like this person did something to her and there's going to be information that comes in about what they did five of swords reversed so they were taken advantage they were one-upping they were bullying something now the queen of cups is the one who got 
uh, Ten Swords to her back. Is she the one who's going to speak up about what's been going on with this King of Swords? Or is someone else sending her information, delivering information to her? Whatever this Five of Swords was, was keeping um, somebody very stressed out, stuck in their head, unable to move forward. We do have the um, Hermit here. Someone like has been in the Hermit mode stuck. That's what this feels like. Six of Swords reverse with the Hermit going within yeah look stuck the these both of these cards surround the hermit card we can't go anywhere till we figure this out that's what that feels like now is it that someone needed to look into who was betraying you know was is this the queen of cups really looking at her her situation so deeply that she froze it's possible she was you know five of swords and she was um five of pentacles as well so I feel as though, and she was 10 of wands, somebody piled a bunch of burdens on her. There's clarity coming in about this. And I feel like we're going to go from like this, the hermit goes within to gain clarity. I feel like everything had to stop in this whole situation. Everything had to stop. So the hermit could go within to gain, gain clarity. So six of swords reverse knight of wands reverse this could have been physically we couldn't move forward and mentally we couldn't for move forward until we figured this out well the clarity is coming it's right here it's at the very it's as we come into the reading it's happening like here and now that clarity is coming in with something that's going to be shocking is it that the five pentacles that this person was left out in the cold, their pentacles were taken, whatever it was that was going on, ten swords were stuck in their back. Is there something coming in for this person? Because this little page carries a huge pentacle. So when this offer, sometimes people see a page come in, they're like, oh, it's just a page. Sometimes the page could be carrying an offer that's huge. And with the Knight of Pentacles right next to it, I believe that it is huge. This Knight of Pentacles is in the reverse as a challenge. This Knight of Pentacles was unable to bring in this pentacle. There was something keeping it stopped, blocked. Look, all this can't move forward. Why? Because someone was manipulating the situation. King of Wands reversed. So there was something going on where someone was keeping everything stuck by sticking swords in the back of the queen of cups and uh manipulating her with the five swords so this i feel like something really awesome is going to come in here um i feel like the information is going to come out something might be exposed here as well all right so as i'm looking at this reading we've got you know the pentacle finally coming in with a challenge was that it wasn't able to move forward. There was nothing allowed to move forward, honestly. So now here it comes. It's, it's coming. Um, when I see the page coming in straight up and the knight of pentacles as a challenge in reverse, I see that this Knight of Pentacles was completely in the reverse. And now there he goes. He's turning. He's turning and he's going to be in the upright. This is coming through. Okay. It's just in the, it's in the beginning, beginning preparatory stages because clarity is only just now being seen in this situation. It could have to do with an Aquarius. It could have to do with a Leo, a Scorpio, an Aries, a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. There's a lot coming through in this reading already. And don't forget, we already have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius back here that did something. And we have a Queen of Cups who was betrayed. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Okay, so keep that in mind. Now, so we have some kind of healing going on here some kind of disappointment that happened here but there's a healing and this coming in might really um, help with this healing whatever's coming in that's going to take the burdens off this person's back and bring in their pentacle is going to really help them heal here from being left out in the cold this could have been a partner i have to say that because this four of, four of wands in this particular deck is very much about two people who are hand fasted together they made a pact to come here and work on something together in this lifetime and somebody bailed on them. Could have been the emperor, but I feel like it was that king of wands back there. I really do. I think that king of wands stuck it to the queen of cups 
and uh, we're going to see this. The light's going to shine on this, okay? Hold on one second, you guys. Okay, so sorry for the interruption. Let's get right into it. What do we need to know here? We know the clarity's coming in. The clarity's here, and the clarity's here. And this clarity could be the shocking moment when somebody sees something correctly. Like I said, somebody absolutely is looking for something. Okay, so somebody's going to see something correctly. I feel a King of Wands bailed on the Queen of Cups. And this is something that's... Um, or there's some kind of news about it. Something's coming in about this. But it's um, going to allow for someone to dump those burdens and the pentacle to come in. Whatever it is. Okay, let's see if we can get... I'm trying to figure out what deck I want to use to clarify. I'm being called to change decks. Okay, let's use the Pre-Raphaelite deck. Okay, there it is. This is Modern Spellcasters. Okay, this is Pre-Raphaelite deck. It's a gorgeous deck. I, if you guys don't know it, you're about in for a huge treat because it is gorgeous. Very detailed. All right, here's the outside of it. Okay, and I will be showing you the cards as we go. They are beautiful. All right, spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good, what do we need to know about this reading? The reading feels really important. It's, um... For the upcoming weekend or whenever anyone is guided to see it and resonates with it. Please allow me to connect with as many people as possible and to bring through the most important messages that the people watching need to hear. For anyone that will stumble upon it or be guided to it later as well. All right, one more shuffle. First thing I want to look into is these pentacles that were blocked and are now coming in. Let's look at the page of pentacles. What do we need to know here? Page of pentacles seems very important. Wow. Eight of cups. So this pentacle is going to allow someone to be released from a lot of emotional turmoil that they've been in. This is going to allow someone to leave behind the stresses. All right, let's look at the, um, so something definitely is coming in for someone. Tell me about the, um, I want to look at the Seven of Cups at the bottom of your deck. Can I look at the Seven of Cups reversed? What is this about? King of Cups reversed as a challenge just fell out, but you know, I'm going to, I'm going to be honest with you. I wasn't even ready yet. So if anything, this could have to do with something that a Scorpio had something to do with. And now a Pisces just fell out with the hanged man. I didn't even ask the question yet. Scorpio, Pisces could be involved in something here that somebody's getting some clarity on. Seven of Cups reversed. What do we need to know about it here? Please give us any kind of information that would be important for us to know about this. Yeah, so there's wish fulfillment coming about those pentacles. The pentacles that were reversed here Somebody's going to get some kind of wish fulfillment. There's some kind of clarity coming in about the reverse pentacles. This is wish fulfillment, though. So there's something good coming of this. So we've got the eight and the nine of cups here and the ten of pentacles reversed. So we're going to see something about the ten of pentacles reversed, the, the pentacles that were blocked, right? All right, let's look at the knight of pentacles reversed as a challenge here. What do we need to know about this knight of pentacles? What's important? Oh, that's too many. I don't even want to look at them too many knight of pentacles reversed as a challenge what would be the most important thing we need to know just one or two yeah that someone was holding the pentacles four of pentacles the pentacles were being withheld we already knew that all right but we're going to find out why there's clarity coming in it is wish fulfillment so we're going to find out why tell me about the um the star in the reverse what do we need to know about the star in the reverse please why is the star reversed and what do we need to know about it what is the most important thing we need to know about Okay. Wow, that was weird. That was going to come out in the upright. I don't know if you saw what just happened. It got stuck on the cards and flipped around, and that doesn't happen for nothing. King of Pentacles. Excellent. So, King of Pentacles could very well be the money man. Okay, so there's something about 
Um, or this person might be disappointed because they have to release the money because he looks a little disappointed, but the King of Pentacles generally is good in the upright. All right, well, he could, I'll tell you the truth. If he's the person who's been looking and looking and looking to find out what happened here, he could just be worn out um, because, well, he, and if he is, he's coming through possibly as a Virgo because of the hermit. But let's keep going because this could be the person receiving their money. This person finally could be getting their money after it was withheld. All right, let's get a little peek here. What do we need to know about the star reversed with the King of Pentacles? What is this about? Woo, sort of truth. Wow, beautiful. All right, so information's coming in. I always feel that when I see this little bird telling her something and then the truth comes in. Okay, and the queen's about to get her crown. It's about to fall down on her head. Some kind of truth and clarity comes in about something here, whether it's from the king of pentacles or it's towards the king of pentacles, whatever it is. There, there could be an Aquarius involved in this as well. All right, so Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, and Aquarius are coming through very strongly in this reading. All right, let's look at... Um, we also do have Scorpio and Leo here, don't forget, and Aries. All right, let's look at the Four of Wands reverse, which is very partnership-oriented. Tell me about this Four of Wands reverse. This is about, I really do feel like some kind of partner bailed on their partner. Yeah, Seven of Swords. Somebody tried to just leave a situation, just, you know, bailed. Or did something shady and then left their partner holding the bag. I felt it right away and I feel it even more now. Seven of Swords, really? All right, tell me about the um, Five of Pentacles. What do we need to know? Center of the reading. This whole reading has to do with someone who was left out in the cold. The thing about this is, though, when it's reversed, we're seeing it. The clarity has come in. The light shines right on top of that person trying to do something shady. Like I said, behind there is a queen of cups who was bit, who was stabbed in the back ten times. Had to do with this king of wands. All right, tell me about this um, five of pentacles. What do we need to know? Five of swords, magician reverse. Definitely someone manipulated a situation to go their way, lying, sneaking, cheating, stealing, and left someone else out in the cold. Wow, unbelievable. Tell me about the emperor here. What do we need to know about this emperor? What do we need to know about the emperor? Ooh, judgment. Judgment blowing the horn right on the emperor. So look at that. Wow. All right. So the emperor is being told to take some kind of an action here to do something. I don't know what that is yet. I might come back to that. Let's go to the sun. What do, what do we need to know? King of Wands reversed. Someone's going to see what that King of Wands was doing to his partner. I'm telling you. The clarity is coming in about the reverse king of wands. Lights shining right on them. What did this person do to that queen of cups? Tell me about the tower. What do we need to know? Whoo wee. Oh my God gosh look at this five of wands bunch of troublemakers temperance and the chariot that's beautiful this is archangel michael stepping in to balance something out to make a wrong right this is these are both cards of balance the black and the white are perfectly balanced in this card this is victory this is success this is a battle won this is um, divine guidance. This is beautiful. So if there were any, if there were people involved, troublemakers involved, um, drama, anything traumatic, that's getting blown up. 
getting blown up because so says Archangel Michael. This is a cancer card as well. That could have been a cancer back there that was done dirty by this fire sign right here and possibly other people. Tell me about um, ten, of uh, ten of Wands Reverse. Someone's about to dump all these burdens. Tell me about Ten of Wands Reverse. The tower makes it all possible. Queen of Wands and the Two of Cups reversed. So she's coming out as the counterpart to the King of Wands. Probably the same Queen of Cups. But she's coming out as they were pledged to each other and he did her dirty. There it is. They were hand-fasted together. There was something they were supposed to do together that he bailed on. Seven of Swords in the reverse. Five of Swords, Magician reverse. He manipulated a situation and left her holding the bag. There it is. The reverse partnership with the Leo right on it, right there. This is the light shining on a Leo who did this woman dirty. That was supposed to be his partner. She's dumping these burdens. She's in the upright. This partnership is done again. The sun at the bottom. Wow. The light is showing on all of it. Wow. Oh my, my, my. This is a lot. Wow. <laughs> I know I sound crazy, but I mean, look, this, the light is shining on the bitch on this, the pain this person went through that they have to heal from, from that tower that came down in their life. We're seeing it. The light is showing on it. This person is going to be a strong Leo. There's also, um, Scorpio coming out here. There's also Aries. Pisces is here. There is Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo involved as well. Um, I didn't see anything negative going. Well, I mean, there's some kind of the. It's like the Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo has something to do with the truth that's coming out. What is it? I want to get one quick look at the judgment with the. Um, Emperor. Why is judgment here with Emperor? This is like someone being called to take some kind of action here to take control of this situation. Spirit wants somebody to do something here. Judgment and the Emperor. We need more information. Why is this happening like this? What is this? I feel as though someone's definitely being called to um, intervene or do something. Yeah. Look at that six of swords to get move to move people to safety. Spirit is calling on someone to take action, whoever it is. It might be that king of pentacles up here because he's getting some kind of truth. And that judgment angel steps in and blows the horn right at the emperor saying, please take action to take people to safety, to get people to a peaceful place here, to get Somebody was being, I feel like somebody was being set up. That's what I really feel. And um, so that they can dump the burdens because this wasn't fair. They Somebody was trying to keep them trapped in something or do something to them that was unethical, wasn't right. And now the King of Pentacles sees it and knows it and is being called. You have to, you have to take action. You have to do something. It's like spirit giving someone, you know, the call like you need to blow up whatever this toxicity is well, whoever these people are or this person is that's working with this king of wands you have to call it out you're going to have to take this like that could be the queen of cups and her child remember somebody was left out in the cold you know here and she was the queen of cups she was showing up back there in the back this could be like you have to do something about this um, because these burdens have to be dropped because someone was trying to keep someone trapped in this. Could have been a work situation. Three of Pentacles is right behind it. And there's the Emperor, too, in reverse. So, and look, there he is receiving information. So, listen, um, and the Emperor might have been blindfolded to all this and just now be getting the information. This could be information that's now, just now, coming out because clarity is just coming into the situation. This is wish fulfillment, and it has to do with a, um, the Ten of Pentacles reverse. Something about this money. Or this, you know, Ten of Pentacles, it could be family. It could be something else besides. It could be a home. It could be an estate. Um, whatever. The Pentacles are always whatever you deem 
tangible that is um, important to you that has to do with your um, security, safety, whatever it is. But we can clearly see that pentacle was not being given out. The pentacles were withdrawn um, in some way, but we're going to find out some information about this. There, someone was manipulating a situation that's all coming to a head and somebody is being called to take some kind of action on this. This is almost, it almost feels like, you know, a lot of manipulation by, um, uh, uh, definitely manipulation by some, somebody who was supposed to be someone's partner. This could be a karmic contract between you and another person. Um, you know, this would be a situation where you were both supposed to come here and work together. And again, here we go. Another lifetime where this partner pulls a fast one and does you dirty. That's why we get sent back here to do these karmic contracts together. Because whoever did the person, the other one dirty, is supposed to step up and do the right thing. Mm -hmm. And that was supposed to be it. Like, we were supposed to grow from this. We're supposed to become more advanced, better souls. This is a situation where, again, our partner is being exposed for being a magician in reverse. Five of swords, ten of swords, three of swords, seven of swords in reverse. I mean, this is all coming out. Whatever mani manipulation was going on here, they're being seen for it. The light's shining right on them. All right, let's see what we can do here. And somebody involved in the situation is definitely, um, well, this queen is definitely dumping burdens. She's done with this. This is all being exposed and she's done, right? This was a karmic contract for her. Um, somebody's definitely being called to bring this to peace, bring someone to safety, get someone pulled out of this because they see what's going on and they know that it's a trap and it's in, and in order, and well, here we go, dropping the burdens was right at the bottom. So somebody needs to, somebody will drop the burdens when the trap is exposed and somebody's being called to expose it. All right, wow. Whew. All right, so now keep this in mind. Really anybody could be that emperor, okay? Whoever the emperor is, is the person that has to expose this, the person that has to bring someone to safety or, or move to safety out of the way. So in order, if this is the queen, let's say that, because this is more of an energy than anything. If this is the queen who has to move to safety and get out of the way because she's being set up in some way by some criminals here or whoever they are, she's the one who has to pull the plug and pull the tower and bring it down. That's why we do have cancer being divinely guided to what? Bring down the tower on the shady people. So it's very possible this could be this Queen of Cups that has to do this. But the truth is this could be this other person who's getting the information, who's observing and finding out the truth in what's been going on with the shady business, with whatever's been going on with this person and possibly other people as well. Like I think he's involved other people. So anyway... I mean, he could even be the one being called to do the right thing. Spirit could be saying, you need to bring this to peace. You need to bring this to peace or the tower is coming. So however that works, this could go multiple different ways. Okay, so this same emperor could be the one that's being called to like, if you do, if you do the right thing, we won't have to bring down this tower on you. But if you don't, the tower is coming. All right, this is all, it feels very, very karmic. Um, there's a lot of sneaky, shady stuff being manipulated by this King of Wands. I mean, he's the culprit in all of it. Um, he really did a number on this Queen of Cups back here. I mean, you can clearly see she was completely stabbed 10 times in the back by him. There's information coming out about the, seven, the Five of Swords twice here. Whatever um, he's been doing to manipulate and uh, st stop progress, block her from being able to leave, whatever it is, um, block her from being able to be at peace. Um, it's being seen, though, or somebody here had to go deep to get the information, to get clarity on this. And remember, this clarity also has to, this is about 
money or it's an about a state or it's something this per is this what the, this is what the king of wands wants from her he wants to take whatever's hers and it's that's the wish fulfillment here would be to take what's hers it's getting exposed it's all getting exposed boom lights shining boom it's like towers coming down everything's coming out seven of swords we're going to see it sun we're going to see it ace of swords we're going to see it everything's coming out here about what happened here spirit steps in and says i'm giving you one last chance to do the right thing or that tower's falling and look at spirit from up here i don't know if you guys can see this that judgment horn goes straight down to this tower that's about to blow this is how it sits on my table like i'm giving you one last chance to do the right thing do you see judgment's horn it goes downward right at the tower if you don't do it if you don't take control and do it and bring this to peace i'm gonna do it and everybody's going down with the tower and then one person's gonna drive away on that chariot and that one person is gonna be the person that was set up i like it i like it this person's probably a cancer or a sagittarius if it's two people, it could be a Cancer and a Sagittarius, okay? So keep that in mind. They could be a couple, partner. They could be mother and child somewhere. I saw that here, okay? So however this works, but somebody is getting, I mean, Spirit would like for someone to take control and do the right thing. So we'll see who does what here. But anyway, wow, what an intriguing reading. Very intriguing. Um, wow. Let's get you a couple of angel cards angels for anyone who's going to resonate with this reading what do we need to know here please what do we need to focus on or know about oh that's a lot all right let's just see what they are wow oh my gosh so keep in mind when the purpose card comes out there's a couple of them that have to do with um karmic cycles there was a purpose for the whole thing. So you had to go through it to come out the other side. Um, because it was a it was a karmic lesson. I really don't feel and maybe, maybe, you know, it's a karmic lesson on both ends, but I feel as though only one person is getting out of this karmic lesson um in a high vibration. <laughs> <laughs> passing their karmic lesson in this reading so far unless whoever spirit is calling on to do the right thing kicks in and does the right thing so the whole thing has been um it's a karmic test this has been a karmic test not for the queen of cups but for the person that knows she's being set up and needs to speak up and for the people that actually did the setup okay so they're saying listen we want you to trust the truth truth and trust came out here so there is um th this was for a purpose right and we want spirit wants you to understand that this is the truth and to trust this and if you're you know if you're the person that goes oh my god i know exactly what this is should i say something should i do something yes please do um spirit says please trust there's there, this is spirit this is a, a karmic test and yes the truth is that you need to do something about it trust that there this is being done um, this is being done for someone to solve their karma. I feel a lot of people could solve their karma, but I feel there's a group that won't. There's a group that there's no way. They are deep in doo-doo and they are not going to solve their karma. But there is a, another person here I feel that finds out about this and has an opportunity to step in and do the right thing or go down the rabbit hole with the rest of them. Okay, so Spirit says trust us. This is the truth. There's a purpose to this. And it's going to take someone to peace. And peace is the option. Remember, Spirit says, I'm calling on someone to take action here to what? Bring something or someone to peace. Purpose is to move towards peace. Trust us. This is the truth. Everything's repeating itself here. If the right thing is done here, there is an opportunity for sheer happiness. I feel as though no matter what, this i feel cancer queen of cups queen of wands person the counterpart to the person that did her dirty who whatever she is she's going to be aries leo sagittarius can't strong cancer um 
I feel it's either going to be, can I feel like the Leo is here. And this, she's showing up as Queen of Wands because she's the partner. They had a deal. They hand fasted and had an op, you know, we pledged to stick together. And again, in this lifetime, this person broke the deal, manipulated, connived, stole, cheated, lied, whatever they did, manipulated, um, used, abused, did all kinds of bad things, and it's now going to be exposed, okay? So somebody's got an opportunity to speak up about this. I feel, I don't feel there's any rectification for this person, but I do feel someone else knows, and this person's going to go down with the ship, or they're going to do the right thing, okay? And if they do the right thing, the light. But I feel like this, um, this female counterpart, the light's coming for her, okay? Because it's getting exposed. All this is getting exposed. It's all on her behalf. Okay, guys, I hope this made sense. Spirit has stepped into this. This whole thing is, this is Archangel Michael. This is Archangel Gabriel stepping into a situation to blow it the hell sky high. I mean, this is the Archangels going, oh, hell no. Oh, hell no. And these people are all going down with the ship. And so is he. He's like the kingpin in all this, okay? So I hope this makes sense to someone um, if someone, if someone is watching this and you are the person who sees the truth, sees what's happening, please do something about it. Speak up, say something. Don't go down with the ship. All right. I hope this makes sense. Anyway, guys, if you could, please, please comment down below. Let me know if you know what this is. Um, please like, share, subscribe. I appreciate you guys for all the things you do to support the channel right underneath this video. I know you might have to push something or tap on something for all the info to come out, but you're going to see my email to reach out to me for a reading. You're going to see the price of the readings and you're going to see my PayPal link for, um, to pay for the readings or to put in donations, which I always appreciate. And thank you all of you that always do. I appreciate you so much um all of it's there you just might have to tap on something or push something i know on a phone it's right at the end of the title of the reading and on a computer it's down a little bit and it says more information tap there this information is all available and this is like everybody's channel works this way okay all right guys i hope that you enjoyed the reading please comment down below let me know if you guys know what this very intriguing reading is about i'm totally intrigued all right, guys, I'll talk to you soon. Bye.